So first you gotta power off your 3DS and then you gotta put your Franken SD inside your reader. So I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. So you put that one in there. Second thing you do is put your USB or whatever port you made inside your 3DS. And once you got that one in, you don't plug in the USB into your computer. You instead turn on your 3DS and it should show the blue screen. The message is not really important as long as it works. If it doesn't work, you can still debug with the message, but I got the, just the free. I can't focus close up because my phone camera is dead, but now you can see it. I got a free. So what you do now, if it's on, you can plug it into your computer. And what now happens, I will show on the computer. So once you plug it in, this message should pop up. This. It should only pop up once, but because of uh, the anchor has two ports, it will pop up twice. I don't know why. But you just close this out. This is very important. And then you go to where you have your Win32 disk imager. You open that up. And once that's open, if you want to read your NAND, you must first make a location. I will use my desktop. And you must create one. So just put in anything and open. And then you are able to read. You just can't press read and it will create a file. You must first do this and then you can read. You can also write but then you have to um, use like a backup that you already made with um, decrypt 9 or something. Those work too. But if I press read now, it will start reading out my NAND and it's always like 5.7 MB a second. But that's everything. That's, this is the procedure how it should work. I'm going to exit out of this because I don't need it. This can be gone too. And what I do is I have um, this place where I have all my backups of everything that I need. And these are made with decrypt and these this one is read, read out with um, my NAND reader. But as you can see they're both identical. And once you made and then restore always open it with a hex editor and check at this line if it says NCSD if it says NCSD you're good that means it's a good restore point so always check for that this one I made with decrypt I can open that one too and it also shows NCSD that's pretty much it